The Planet is a special segment all about science, technology, and the environment, and how they touch our lives. Tonight, a glimpse into the future of hybrid cars, plug-in hybrids to be specific. Eve Savory checked up on what's happening with them, especially given some new interest from a certain quarter. When U.S. President George Bush tours a battery factory and starts talking about green cars... Start picturing what I'm talking about. You got your car, you pull in, you plug it right in the wall. <laughs> you know you've got a revolution. Getting 4.08 volts here on the uh, cell. And two Canadian engineers were way ahead of him. This is your $5 home refueling station. So you just walk up to a standard household outlet, plug it in, it starts charging the, your vehicle. This is a hybrid, a Toyota Prius. The gasoline engines in hybrids get better mileage with the help of a battery charged by the brakes or engine. This is our plug-in kit for the Prius. So but the Akash Toth and really Ricardo Bazzarella have given this Prius a second rechargeable battery, one you plug in. So now instead of doing liters, you're doing kilowatts. How much kilowatt I'm spending on my vehicle? At 10 cents a kilowatt hour, their battery would cost about 55 cents to charge. And, and how many kilometers can you go on one charge? Uh, right now we're expecting about 50 kilometers. So if you drove fewer than 50 kilometers a day at city speeds, your plug-in hybrid would never need gas. Well, that's the theory. I think plug-in hybrids are the wave of the future. I'm pretty sure 10 to 15 years down the road, this is the car that will be driving in the cities. For these two, it's about a greener world. For a coalition of powerful Americans, it's also about Middle Eastern oil. We have got to eliminate our dependency on foreign oil. They launched this video to lobby their president. Now the White House is plugging plug-ins. Thereby saving more gas for our consumers, thereby making us less dependent on oil. Well, it's certainly quiet. So I went for a drive in the Prius the Canadian engineers had converted. And 15 minutes in, we're still driving on battery. So what's the big deal? Why aren't the automakers getting in on this? Uh, from a point of view of dependability, reliability, uh, the integrity of the whole vehicle as a package, we don't think it's quite there yet. Toyota says adding a plug-in battery would change this car's dynamics, weight and safety. Battery technology isn't ready. It's expensive. And since some electricity still comes from coal, not even that clean. I can't believe it's running. At $9,000 to convert, this isn't yet today's technology. It could be tomorrow's, the beginning of an electrifying revolution. Eve Savory, CBC News, Concord, Ontario.